Hello, my dear J2024 warriors. Your journey is still remaining, it seems, and that is for your IIT exam for your ISER. So let me give you all the important details regarding this exam, how to prepare, what should be your last minute focus, and also where to get mock tests because you know, even though the syllabus is more or less the same, mock test plays a very crucial role because every pattern, every time and all the levels are different for different examinations. So let's get in straight away to the topic and I'll also tell you all the different cutoffs, how many seats are there, what is ISAR, everything. This video is like one complete video and I'm going to keep it very crisp and short. So make sure that for your Captain Shreyas, who is your physics master teacher, smash that like button, yes, quickly, and also subscribe to the channel. And there is one more reason to do that, because if you want more content on ISAR, IAT, and more such examinations and any such counseling process, if you show your love and support, obviously, you know, Shreyas sir will do it for you. Thank you so much, guys, for smashing that like button. Now, let's understand what ISAR is. Some of you might already know it. Yes, it's basically your Indian Institute of, yes, it's your Indian Institute of yep, Science, Education and Research. Amazing. Very good. Keep it up. Now, understand this is a common entrance exam for, you know, lot of institutes, including IISC. In fact, right now there are, you know, seven ISARs in India. Uh, one is in Kolkata, one is in Pune, one is in Mohali, other one in Bhopal, then in Tiruvananthapuram, Tirupati and Bahrampur. So these are your seven ISARs. Some of them have very high cutoffs, some of them have low cutoffs. Basically depends on the college's reputation, credibility, placements and so much more. Faculty, facilities, how old it is, what is their, you know, uh, uh, status, so many things matter. Now, the degrees that you will get is basically dual degree except for the one in Bhopal where you get a BS bachelor science degree. But here you get BS and MS, a dual degree. So it's one year longer course, but the advantage is you will directly come up with a MS degree. So those of you want to pursue research and want to probably go for further higher studies, you can directly apply for PhD programs. Okay, or specialty programs. So that's one good advantage because you are getting two degrees in a limited amount of time. Okay, and the admission to all these colleges is through IIT, remember that, which is your ISER aptitude test. Okay, which is your ISER aptitude test for all these colleges, for all these colleges. Now, this exam, like most of you would have seen, it is comprising of four subjects and the number of questions are 60. But the time is three hours. This is interesting, okay? Because in J means you used to solve 75 questions. Here you are solving 60 questions, 15 questions less for the same time. That means expect slightly higher difficulty level questions. It's not of J means level. It is of slightly higher level. Keep that in mind, okay? Something like your, you know, REAP exam for your UGWE, right? For your triple IT. Hyderabad, just like that, that REAP exam, same way, you can expect slightly higher order of thinking level questions and the, uh, you know, careful part which you should be noting is there is negative marking and there are 15 questions from each subject, biology is also part of it. So a lot of students, especially PCM might not have prepared for it. All right. So be careful about it. Okay. Clear. Then where to check the syllabus it's there on the website i would say just have a look at it a few things here and there you are seeing you know you need to be careful about you can just have a look but more or less 99 percent it is j main syllabus only okay so go to the website aptitude test syllabus click the link over here you will get the syllabus now let's come to the crucial part how many seats and what are the cutoffs because then you can set a target because if you do not know the seats if you do not know what is the safe score Chumma, you're writing the exam aimlessly. Always when you prepare, you should know the cutoffs, you should know the seats, you should know everything. Only then you can have a proper frame of mind. Like see, for Barampur, 180 seats. Most of the other colleges are between 250 to 275, except for Aisar Thiruvandantapuram, which has 320 seats, which is the highest in number. Otherwise, roughly 250, 275, 288, like this, the around... To, uh, 250 to 300 seats approximately you can say per college that means the number of seats are very very less 
total seats are barely 1800 okay so you can understand how difficult how competitive this exam is going to be because few people only will write it few and those people who are preparing for advanced for triple it for bitsat and are well scorers in mains and in advanced these people only write the exam so the competition is between the top notch cream layer of the country keep that in mind now the fees for these colleges also is not very much you can see okay and this is the total fee you can see for yeah the entire course four lakh three and a half lakh five lakh two lakh three and a half lakh four and a half lakh like that so the fees is also not very high because some colleges these are the fees per year this is the total fees so these are government funded institutes so hundred percent if you are a research oriented person or if you want to become a professor or you want to do higher studies or you want to join the r d department of some multinational company then this is the best course this is the best college trust me on this because you are spending very little and that too over a long period of time okay and you are getting a very good uh, status you are getting uh, you are passing out from a very good reputed college that degree will hold true even at international level yes understand that it is almost not exactly at iit level but almost closing in at iit level yeah so if you have missed out on iit this is the best thing obviously if you enter isc nothing like it it's uh, considered to be sometimes even better than iit especially for the research programs you know it okay now you can see the total marks i just told you the total marks were 240 marks right 240 marks so you can see the cutoffs for general category is anywhere between 170 to 200 so that's for isc but if you talk about the seven isers look at it pune ranks the highest between 160 to 180 i have personally seen many of my students entering into isr and are doing exceptionally well and they love the college they love the campus they love the city they enjoy every facility given to them so iit madras kolkata mohali bhopal you can see tirupati bairampur all these are the rough cutoffs which are given over here okay so these are your iit cutoffs for your research programs in these colleges so i would say if you are targeting for iit you should target for iser pune and that means a safe score will be 180 the score might go up little high so better to target 190 out of 240 yes understood so 190 out of out of basically 240 should be your bare minimum target and there is a good chance you might also get into iic if you want to go there okay now what should be your strategy you have to select the topics which you are weak at select the topics which you think you need to uh, improve your concepts at in the next few days and do that selective revision carefully and you divide your time of the day where you are revising versus where you are attempting mock tests these are two different things yep you have to practice a lot of questions only then your concepts will get cleared via the revision understand that right yo correct next important thing is like i said you need to divide your time there will be one part of the day where you are giving the mock test second part of the day where you are just revising things like brushing up the concepts etc another part of the day where you are just you know uh, writing and solving the questions so i would say divide your day into three categories understand it's very important to make this schedule because right now after j advance that mindset of examination might have gone you might be very strained right now because already you have been giving continuous exams from the month of january so now it's like oh my god sir i have given up i don't feel like studying anymore i'll just chumma give it i'm confident based on my j advanced knowledge do not do that make a schedule you will regret it later okay yeah make sure that you are not talking to those people who are not giving this exam because that will unnecessarily create more and more distractions for all of you okay you are serious about studies you are serious about colleges you have to minimize your distractions also keep in mind that at this point of time your frame of men mental state is very important because if you are anxious nervous because your j advance did not go well or maybe you're not so happy about the whole exam season it might affect it so badly that you might not perform well there are many students who did not do well in other entrance tests but did exceptionally well in these exams because they were 
hell bent on cracking these exams so don't give up now if you want to give up give up after you know the exam is over okay give up after the second week of june then you sit coolly then you take uh, tension and you watch some movies listen to music get distracted do whatever you want but till the exam please 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 study do not give up so easily guys and yep you might be wondering sir where do i give these mock tests i'll tell you a simple place to give these mock tests we are only are going to give you these mock tests at just 499 rupees the link is there in the description as well as the pinned message in the chats so you will get 10 full syllabus tests of the same level same pattern same timing as that of the iit so after solving these 10 iit papers you will be super duper confident and i feel you have that much time to give these 10 full syllabus tests and you will also get a comprehensive report of how these tests were and these questions are from the latest iit syllabus only okay and you can give these tests again and again you will also get the solutions so let me show you where you will get it as you are watching this particular video go to the description box over here yep and you can see tap the link for the iit test series yes just click on this you can see you can get last minute preparation with the test series and the 360 performance analysis all the four subjects are there physics chemistry maths biology very reasonable price 499 rupees okay it's an all india level test series you will also get ranking based on this all right so that is also very important so you can see where you stand not many people are going to give it just click on buy full course enter your details and your job is done okay so it's very simple on how to enroll into the test series is that clear very good so i hope this particular video has helped you a lot in understanding what this entrance test is how to prepare what's the cutoff what's the fees why this exam is so important and how to practice these mock tests with the help of vedantu test series 10 full length uh, you know mock tests right so all the best my dear warriors and if you want more content on iit then please comment below like and share okay only then we can do something thank you so much this was captain shias 